Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming a New Makeup Monday video, so if you guys like chatting about all the new makeup releases, sneak peeks, and all the things I can find on the internet, then just keep watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. Highly recommend subscribing because I post quite often. I hate for you to miss it. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. So today I have on a new to me palette from a new to me brand. I'm so excited. Cosmic Brushes sent this my way. I want to have a two to three looks video with this palette up as soon as I can get that accomplished, but I'm wearing this palette on my eyes today. You guys know how much I struggle with pastel eyeshadow palettes and pastel shades and eyeshadow palettes in general. I will say this shade was so nice and pigmented, so easy to work with. And then on the outer corner, I'm wearing this shade called Pixie. And then these two shimmer shades. So far, I am so excited about this palette. So can't wait to work on that video for you guys. I do believe this palette is currently sold out, but it will restock. And I do have a code with the brand. It's KH Makeup. It'll save you some money at restock. And I will post when I get restock information on my community tab on my Instagram stories as well. So highly recommend making sure you're following me on both of those options so that you guys can stay informed on all the new things. Anyways, we have a lot to chat about, so let's hop on over to Trend Mood. The first thing I see on here is a little video with Dennis Amirex. I went through the comments. It looks like a lot of you are speculating that this is a new face palette. I guess people like screenshot it and flip the picture. I don't really have time to do that, but I appreciate people sleuthing on the internet. So it looks like that's what people think it is. I think it looks like the Lightworks 3 eyeshadow palette. So maybe the eyeshadow palette is just restocking and they're making a big deal of it. Either which way, I love when Vanessa Myricks launches new products. I haven't picked up any of her new like complexion products, but I'm always interested to see with what she's coming out. So definitely have my eye on that. Next from Lawless, we have a new overnight lip plumping mask in Cherry Vanilla. Now, I'm not a big fan of cherry flavor. I know some people love cherry everything. Just not my favorite. I prefer strawberry, if I'm being honest. But this is an overnight lip plumping line smoothing treatment that supports natural collagen production for lips that look bigger and better with continued use. $21. It has a maxi lip, which is like trademark, which visibly increases lip volume by 40%. That's a pretty big claim. So if you want to get big lips, minus the plastic surgery or the injectables or whatever people are doing these days, maybe you want to check that out. I wish it was non-flavored. Maybe they have a non-flavored version. I don't even know. I'm not really big on lip plumping products, so it's an easy pass for me. There's so many gorgeous releases this week. Another one that just got announced is the new Nouveau palette by ABH. Now, the more I look at this, it's giving me KKW Beauty Camel Palette vibes, but you can't buy that palette anymore. So this could be a great option for those of you who missed it. They're marketing it as like a green palette. I think it's definitely more of a khaki, very, very like dip in the pool of the very shallow end of greens, <laughs> but it's a cool concept. I think this will do pretty well for them. It's also giving me like subculture vibes. It's giving me Huda Beauty Khaki Haze palette vibes. So I do love the ABH formula. So I'm very curious about this. Also, I think the packaging looks gorgeous. It's definitely on my maybe list for this week. And then we have from Chanel, the new Water Fresh Complexion Touch with Micro Droplets Pigment. I'm assuming this is a foundation. It looks like a foundation. It says it's a flawless finish in 16 shades for $85. Price point is very, very steep. I feel like Chanel Beauty has been like pumping out some products the last couple of weeks. So that's really interesting, but it's going to be a pass for me. Then from the drugstore, we have a Disney collection. This is Wet n Wild and Stitch. So there's a bunch of products. It's a quite a big collection. Looks like there's an eyeshadow palette, a contour palette, a setting mist, sponges and scrubs, and waterproof eyeliner, waterproof mascara. So quite the collection. I think if you are a big Lilo and Stitch fan, you're going to love this. I definitely am going to be passing on this, but I think it's cute. I like Wet n Wild's collaborations. They do a really good job of like 
going all out and they do a really good job of sticking to the theme whereas some I'm like really oh you know this is like true commitment the packaging all of the things they do a good job next from Lime Crime we have that they're decreasing their makeup prices by 30 to 50 percent anywhere the brand is sold this is interesting you guys will have to let me know what you think of this I think Lime Crime has decent stuff they have decent eyeshadows and things like that I have a few of their palettes. Um, I'm trying to think what the logic is behind reducing their prices because, I mean, I feel like everything is going up in price. So is this price reduction actually something that they are going to be able to sustain? Because I feel like prices are only going to go up. So I'm a little bit confused about them reducing the prices. What are they doing to reduce the prices? You know, are they cutting corners on quality? Have they just been overcharging everybody this whole time? Is it a marketing gimmick? So I'm very, very curious to see how they will kind of sustain that because I feel like if anything, brands are increasing their prices. So I'm really curious to see if this is a marketing tactic on their part. Next we have from Pat McGrath. This is an interesting launch, so you guys will have to let me know because I feel like a lot of you know more than I do about this stuff. But are these existing blush shades and she's just mixing and matching them? That's what I need to know. So she's got new Divine Blush duos and there are some really gorgeous shades. I definitely love the neutral one and the pink and orange one looks interesting. But I can't help but feel like these shades already exist. So. If you are a Pat McGrath super fan, can you let me know because I'm too lazy to find out. And then we have the Divine Highlighters. Now, I try really hard not to use the word obsess lightly, but the Pat McGrath Bridgerton Highlighters, actually most of her highlighters, I'm obsessed with. So I'm definitely tempted by the highlighters, even though I need a new highlighter, like I need a hole in my head. Those look really, really good. Next, from Sol de Janeiro, we have the new scents for summer. I am trying really hard not to buy fragrances in 2022 because I have so many that, like, I'm on the verge of finishing or I need to, like, pan some of my fragrances because I've had some of them for a really long time. And I just think, like, it's fun to collect fragrances, but I also know that there is a shelf life for fragrances. And so I would like to use some of them up and move on. So... I think this is cute, but I don't need it. There is a Sea and Soul scent, which is a juicy citrus and ocean musk. If I was to get one, I think that would be the one I got. And then we have Tan Lines and Tropical Nights. Those ones seem more florally and more vanilla-y, so I would probably skip those two, but that first one is definitely probably the one I would pick up if I was to pick one up. So from LYS, we have the No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. This is definitely giving me Hourglass vibes, um, but obviously Hourglass doesn't own like the rights to that packaging, but it looks so creamy and juicy. I think I would probably get the shade, let's see here, probably four, the shade Harmony. I think I might pick one of these up just because I'm so curious, even though I need a cream bronzer right now, like I need a hole in my head. So this is the creamy bronze stick that instantly brings depth and dimension to the face Lightweight satin finish formula glides on the skin to create a diffuse shadow-like effect leaving behind a healthy looking glow formulated with soothing skincare ingredients in five shades. And this will be available on Sephora on June 8th. So yeah, I'm kind of curious about that. I'm not going to lie. I kind of have my eye on that. And then new from Gwen Stefani, we have the Signature Icon Red and her new formula Extra Sauce. In over 30 years, Gwen Stefani has never revealed her signature shade of red until now. So she's got a extremely long wearing red lipstick and then she's also got the Anaheim Shine, a cushiony rich, highly pigmented silky formula that glides on smooth with stay true color as well as some new shades in her formula called Original Me, ultra pigmented velvety matte finish. Um, so it basically looks like she's adding like some nudes and some new shades to her lip collection So kind of curious because I feel like she of course did her signature red Which I mean I need another red lip like I need a hole in my head I need another lip like I need a hole in my head But 
I'm mildly curious about those. And then we have from Dyson, the new air wrap. So this is the long Dyson. Includes new and re-engineered attachments with enhanced Coenda airflow and, oh my gosh, a bunch of science. Curl shape, smooth and hideaway flyaways for $599.99. Now I did actually get the original air wrap and I do like it. Here's the thing, I feel like some people love doing their makeup every day, some people love doing their hair every day, some people love doing their hair and makeup every day. It's just what you're into. So for me, I could do my makeup all day long, but I would give probably a small finger to have like hair done every day. Like if I could have my hair person just do my hair every day and I didn't have to do my hair, I would be so, like that would be the pinnacle of my existence. Um, so people are always online looking to have somebody justify purchasing this and I feel like if you're into your hair, if you like doing your hair, this would probably be worth the $600 price tag. For me, I really like having the attachment that's the brush because it's kind of like a blowout and that's really nice because I have pretty straight hair. It's a little bit wavier now. The older I've gotten, it's gotten a little wavier, but I really like that brush attachment because I can just like almost straighten my hair and it gives it lots of volume and it looks great. But if you don't like to do your hair, buying a $600 hair tool is probably not gonna change that. And that's kind of how I feel about it. Of course, if you want to use my Sephora link and buy a Dyson, like I'm not gonna be mad about it. But my honest opinion is that if you don't do your hair every day now, having a $600 hair tool is not gonna change that. So hopefully that gives you guys some clarity. I mean, you can still choose to spend the $600 like I did, but I will say I don't use it every day. For me, I have the air wrap and then all the attachments and I also have their straightener. I like the straightener because it's wireless, but I think a lot of brands are now working on wireless straighteners. It's also a little heavy, so if you're not really big on like holding something heavier, maybe you wouldn't like to use it every day. I have a different straightener upstairs and then my Dyson is downstairs, so I just use both of those, but honestly, they're great products. They're very expensive, so if you don't have the extra money, don't try to justify your purchase by saying that it's gonna zhuzh up your hair game because it's really not. If you don't like to do hair, having this hair product is not gonna make you wanna do it anymore. So that's honestly my opinion on that. So take and do with it what you will. Next we have from Fenty Beauty, this is the Cherry Treat Conditioning Lip Oil. Again, not a fan of cherry. Really hope they do this in some other flavor because I feel like it's the summer for lip oils and glossy lips and juicy lips. So I would love if they did these in other flavors other than cherry. So it's an ultra hydrating lip oil that goes on clear and cushions lips with the decadent fruit oils and vitamin rich cherry extracts. Yeah, you lost me a cherry. <laughs> I can't do cherry, I ate cherry. Okay, so beauty news. We have a new category of Kim Kardashian. Say hello to skincare. I did see that she's in some kind of hot water because of the name. I don't really know how to say it, it's like S-K-K-N, but this is going to include cleansers, toners, exfoliator, hyaluronic acid serum, vitamin C8 serum, eye cream, a whole bunch of stuff. I know some people worship the Kardashians, some people can't stand the Kardashians. I'm very neutral on the Kardashians, I really don't care that much either way. So if she wants to come out with a skincare line, like go for it. I've heard skins are really nice. I've heard people really enjoy Skims, so I mean, I'm more interested in that than her makeup line or skincare line, if I'm being honest. Next we have from Makeup Forever, I want one of these, but I probably don't need it. This is gonna be great for like the budding makeup artist. I have a face palette that I bought from Makeup Forever quite a while ago, and that was perfect for my kit because it had options for different skin tones. So these are two palettes we have and they are the HD Skin Face Palettes. Each palette includes 12 complementary cream shades that correct and enhance your natural beauty, unify, correct, conceal, color, contour, and illuminate your complexion. If you are a fan of the iconic HD Face Essentials Palette, 
This is the new HD Skin Palette. Blendable formula, buildable coverage, lightweight texture, and natural finish of the original palette. Harmony 1 is light medium and Harmony 2 is tan deep. Three creamy foundations, four shades of concealer and correctors, two blushes, two contouring shades, and one highlight. So hopefully this will be in the U.S. closer to the end of the year. But yeah, I mean, these look so cute. And I just have been in love with Makeup Forever just because of how good that new foundation is. So I would definitely want to see this in person. I'm sure it's going to be very, very pricey. So I can't say for sure I'll buy it, but it looks to be very, very promising. Okay, next we have the reveal of House Labs. They're coming to Sephora now. So they were at Amazon originally, and now they're going to Sephora. And I will say that this is more how I envision House Labs as far as like Lady Gaga's like iconic style and having more like colored, interesting things in her collection. So there's a bunch of stuff. We've got the Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlights. These look amazing. There's Power Pigment Paints. I feel like these Power Pigment Paint type things, like these cream, colorful, matte eyeshadows are like all the rage. NYX has them. About Face, that new brand that I'm totally blanking on right now, Half half magic it seems like everybody is doing some kind of power pigment paint type deal I actually recently picked up something from profusion and they have four shades so i ordered all of those so we'll see i'm very curious about those because those green shades are all so so appealing and then we have the lip oils love me a good lip oil we've got the velvet bronzers Eco eyeliners, lip crayons, brow pencils. I'm not really big on brow pencils, but pretty much everything from the new House Lab sounds interesting to me. So I might pick up a few things. I don't know. I don't know. I think right now the biggest thing is probably the highlighters because those look gorgeous. And then from NYX, we have the Milky Gloss Creamy Ultra Glassy Milkshake Shine in 12 shades and flavors. I feel like NYX has some great drugstore lip products. So many different formulas. These look so nice and juicy. So if I was like in dire need of a lip product, I could probably see myself picking this up. But since I've talked about so many different lip products right now, I'm gonna be passing on that, but it does look so, so good. Okay, so those are some of the things I saw in Trend Mood this week that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Now let's head on over to my save folder. You guys know I try to find the juiciest things on there that Trend Mood doesn't cover. So one thing I saw last week that I totally forgot to mention, and I almost pre-bought this, but then I was like, Karen, you need another face palette, like you need a hole in your head. So I did pass on these, but I'm still contemplating it. So from Vive, we have her new Sunkiss Summer Collection. There's two new limited edition Dimension Face palettes in Dusk and Dawn. Those are $49 a piece. And then we have three new lip dew shades. There's Rosa, Cherub, and Pesca. I'm not going to lie. I'm so tempted by this little collection. I would love to see somebody review it. If you guys have seen any, let me know because I'm dying to check that out. And then Sigma Beauty launched this, I guess, on Beauty Bay. That's what I'm hearing from all the makeup accounts. I don't think this has been announced yet by Sigma, but if it's on Beauty Bay, I mean, you can go buy it. I think I just got shipping notification for these, but they're new mini palettes from Sigma Beauty. So they took four of their existing palettes and turned them into mini palettes, which I'm so excited about. They're going to retail for about $30 and they look so, so cute. You guys know Sigma to me is like my go-to everyday comfort brand. Their eyeshadows, I love. I love the formula. I know it's not for everyone, but it's one of those brands that I kind of almost stumbled across. I still remember seeing, I think, Samantha March talking about the Corda Rosa palette. And ever since then, I've been hooked on Sigma Beauty. And I just am such a fan of the brand. Anyway, they are going to have a special sale sometime this week, I think. I'm going to put the information on the screen, but on that day, my code with Sigma, which is KH Makeup 10, will be 30% off the Sigma website. So they're doing like an influencer sale. So yeah, feel free to 
check it out. I really want to rank my Sigma palettes. That's definitely in the cards for me, but you guys know I'm a little bit iffy right now with the uploads because my child <laughs> has hit like a growth spurt, plus it's like summer. So she just needs her mom a lot more than when she was a teeny tiny baby, I swear. She would sleep all the time when she was a newborn, but now she's on the move, you guys. So I can't be on my channel as much, but I will definitely, definitely get that video at some point. Anyway, sorry, I'm going on a tangent. Love Sigma, influencer sale. All the details will be in the description box. And these new palettes look amazing. Next we have from Adept. They're sneak peeking. I think this is a face palette. It was on their stories this weekend and I tried to screenshot some things, but it looks like a highlighter palette to me. Three shades, looks gorgeous. I can't wait to hear more about it. I do have a code with Adept, it's Cage Makeup if you wanna shop. They have my favorite, favorite shifty, glittery, shimmery eyeshadows. Them, Cleona and Davina, I think are my top three. Anyway, next we have from Polo Taco. I don't usually like to talk about nail polish, but I thought this was a cool collaboration. So this is the first Holo Taco collab, and it's with Julian, and I think that's Jenna Marble's partner. Um, I don't follow either of them, but I just thought this was fun because I feel like, not that nail polish brands do a lot of collaborations, but I feel like this is fun. Like, I, I just love it. I just think this is cool because I really like the brand, and I think, like, Julian seems really cool. I mean... I haven't really watched any of his content, but I love the vibes. So a very, very cool collection. Congratulations to them on their collab. I just talked about Sigma, but bear with me. I'm going to talk about them again. They just launched this mini brush set. This is for Pride Month. And basically proceeds from this will be going to the It Gets Better project. This is a third year collaborating. Last year they sent me their... Um, pride brushes and I have them in here somewhere if they're clean oh here's them yeah here's one of them so it's got this really cool rainbow handle so this one is the same set I think the brushes are just smaller so it's very very nice I know with pride there's gonna be a lot of collections that are getting talked about so of course you know proceed with caution because sometimes they can be a bit more of a money grab but I don't know I think but I think this is really, but I think it's good no matter what the reason is for brands to do this stuff. It's still spreading the message, which I think is very important. Next, a new brand to me, Bella Beauty Bar, is launching the Euphoric Dreams palette. This is really cute. It's launching June 17th, six duochromes, four mattes, and two shimmers. I love the color story of this palette. Pinks, blues, purples, so, so pretty. I would like to know from you guys, should I pick this up or should I not? I feel like I definitely have all those metallics already, but I think the color combination is really cute. So I would love to hear from you guys if you think that that's worth picking up. Next we have from Morphe. This is their Pride collection. So this is a matte and shimmer situation. I don't know. This caption is kind of weird. Anyway, 100% of the net proceeds. A minimum of 50000 will be made to the Trevor Project from sales of the 2022 Made with Love collection while supplies last. That's awesome. And yeah, is it two palettes? I'm so confused. Anyway, it's a rainbow palette. I love a good cause, so maybe that's something you guys would want to check out. So this I actually bought pretty much the whole collection because I am a fan of Profusion. I like drugstore prices. They had a 40% sale going on for Memorial Day, so I was like, let me just go for it. So this is the Full Bloom collection. There's a Harvest palette and an Ethereal palette, and everything was very affordable. I did check my local Walmart. They didn't have this collection available, but I bought it online, and it should be here soon. So hopefully I can get a video done for you guys. And then from Be Perfect, they have a new palette. This is the Taboo palette. And it's in time for Pride season. 14 intense pigmented and mattes and one universal shimmer. This looks really cool, but it's definitely not something I need at this moment in time. So it's going to be an easy pass for me. I feel like Be Perfect has done so many versions of Rainbow Palette that it's kind of losing its charm. 
and I just don't need a big all matte eyeshadow palette with one universal shimmer shade. It looks like it would be perfect if you like to do a lot of stage makeup and it's something very, very handy, but for me, it's a pass. Okay, you guys, I'm over here roasting rainbow palettes, but then I bought this one. So this is the Beauty Bay and Rainbow Migration Brights 2.0 collection. So there's three palettes. There's a 42 shade one, there's a 16 shade one, and a nine shade palette. So this is their Pride launch, and I don't have their original rainbow palette, and I just really liked the look of this one. I recently used my Earthy palette. You guys haven't seen that video yet. And the formula was so good that I was like, let me just get this, whatever. I paid for express shipping, so hopefully it'll come sooner than my Earthy palette did. But this is a collab with Rainbow Migration, which provides practical and emotional support for LGBTQI plus refugees to help improve their confidence, self-esteem, and reduce isolation by providing specialist advice while campaigning to improve the treatment of people seeking asylum, helping them overcome the trauma they've experienced. I think that's such a beautiful cause. I know where I'm from. The LGBTQI plus community is not as accepted throughout the country. I know in some of the more westernized parts of the country, it's more acceptable. I have friends that are LGBTQIA growing up, but I also grew up in a place where it was more normalized and I know in a lot of rural parts of the country it's not as accepted and there's a lot of people living in fear, in secrecy, they're hiding their true selves. So I think this is a beautiful cause and honestly something I'm very interested in hearing more about because it's not something I was educated on, the Rainbow Migration. Uh, nonprofit organization is so I think it's really wonderful that Beauty Bay is partnering with them especially with so many people fleeing so many different um, circumstances I think this is a beautiful cause like I said it's hard because when it's Pride Month it feels like a lot of brands are gonna hop on the bandwagon but I feel like in some way they're still showing people that it's okay to be LGBTQI+, even though it's so normalized here. Sometimes it might not be, depending on a person's culture or life circumstance. So I think it just gives visibility. I think it is making it just more okay. Um, this is just my opinion. Of course, if you disagree or agree, or if you have different thoughts for me, you're totally welcome to comment as long as you're being respectful and nice. And you know, I'm always open to be more educated, but I think that it's always good because it provides visibility, even with like the Asian American um, Pacific Islander month, like I'm like, okay, is that like necessary? Cause like I'm an Asian person, but I think it's good for each like culture to have its moment to highlight different, you know, brands and things like that. I think it's a good thing overall because it's promoting businesses and good causes. And you know, it gives us an excuse to kind of bring things up and get educated so anyways i hope you guys have a fabulous month of june happy pride again to everyone celebrating thank you guys so so much for checking out this new makeup releases video i'm so sorry it's late this monday i was literally waiting for freya to take a nap and this is this is when it could happen so i hope you guys enjoyed i'll be back next monday for another episode Make sure you guys tag me if you want me to talk about anything special. And yeah, I'll hopefully have some more new videos coming this week. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.